Hello blushers, today I'm excited to share three face exercises that are targeted to lift your whole mouth area and help you get rid of three major lip and mouth aging concerns. So the three concerns usually are, number one, your upper lip drooping down. Right? As you're aging, you notice that your philtrum gets more elongated, your upper lip becomes thinner, and this whole area looks much wider. Next exercise is going to help you with the droopy lower lip. This is again a very common sign of aging, but a lot of people focus on other reasons of aging like wrinkles and saggy skin and completely ignore on the saggy lip part. So this is another reason why your face starts to look much older. When all of this starts to sag, your whole face looks very dragged down. And the third reason that a lot of people experience very early in life, and this is because of a repetitive expression or habit or lifestyle, and that, my dear, is the droopiness on the sides of your mouth. So instead of an upturned mouth, if you have started noticing a downturned mouth, then you need some help. So get ready for these three exercises that will help you with your upper lip, lower lip, and the droopiness on the sides. I want you to join me to perform each exercise for just one minute and do it just for one minute. I will be giving a lot of instructions along the video towards the end of the video. And please stay with me till the end because the instructions are extremely important. Please don't just do the exercise, listen to all the instructions. I'm Parmita Karkar and I am an image coach and a face yoga coach. All of the information to work with me is in my description below. Let's begin with the first exercise and target your upper lip. Make sure your hands are washed and clean, use your thumbs, Put them under your upper lip. Now that will create a little bit of a stretch. Never overstretch any muscle on your face. Especially notice your upper lip is already stretching and starting to sag. So when you insert your thumbs under your upper lip, this is what it should look like. And not this. Don't pull them down. In my group sessions or one-on-one -on -one sessions, I very often notice people overdoing or overperforming an exercise, trying to get faster results, or performing these exercises for much longer than recommended. So please stay with me. This is your step one. And then I want you to contract your upper lips while performing this exercise. It's almost like you're pressing your upper lip against your thumb. Use the strength in your whole upper lip area in your philtrum to push against the thumb under your upper lip. Notice I'm not pushing my thumb outward at all. It's only the lip that's doing all the work. And I slowly move my thumb position so you can target multiple areas above your lip. Now, what should you avoid while you're doing this exercise? Don't pucker your lips. Don't do this. We don't want more wrinkles. Keep the outer lip line, the vermilion line, as flat as possible. Also avoid scrunching or straining the rest of your facial muscles. Relax your face when you're performing this exercise. You might feel a little bit of fatigue in your upper lip area, which is totally fine. This is a very effective exercise. You'll find a little bit more lift in your upper lip area. And when there is more lift, more blood circulation, and the strength of your muscles, underlying muscles under your lips, start to get stronger, what's going to happen? Your lips will start to fill up. Just like the rest of your body, when you start doing strength training and build more muscle definition, your skin outside starts to look firm, tight and lifted. And one minute is all you need. Now let's focus on exercise number two, which is your lower lip. So if this is what you experience, try this. Take your index fingers, insert them inside your lower lip area. Again, do not push your fingers out. All you're going to do is contract the lower lip muscles. Your lips really haven't done much except kissing, eating, talking. <laughs> but when it comes to engaging your lip muscles, you really haven't done much. So now is the time you're teaching your muscles to firm up, to build that strength that they've never really worked on. So do this. 
All of these exercises you can hold for one or two seconds and release. If you want to increase the intensity, you can increase the duration by one or two seconds. So initially, if you do one second hold and release for a second and do one minute repetitions, you can slowly start to do two or three seconds hold and then release. That only means the longer the contraction, the more strength is developed. Just like as you age and your lips start to drag down and look like this, your eyes do that. In older women, you start to notice this inner part of your lash line more prominently. It almost becomes like this. So there is a completely different set of exercises that I've created for your lips and a different set of exercises just for aging concerns. There's a completely different set of exercises and a package created for creating better facial symmetry. And all of these packages are priced very reasonably. They are all linked in my description below. So please get access to it. And if you actually want to explore the possibilities that face yoga holds for your face, then you can always work with me as your image coach, where I design a complete face yoga, everyday face yoga routine just for you. Try to do these exercises exercises in front of a mirror for the first few times or play this video, watch me how I'm performing. I do not want you to do this with your mouth at any point of time. We don't want more wrinkles. We don't want pulling your upper lip, your philtrum down at all. I have seen so many videos all across social media where a lot of people are suggesting to do this exercise. I do not recommend it. It is only going to loosen your skin furthermore. If anything, you need to boost the strength in your upper lip and this is not the place for you to start stretching it. There's a big difference between doing facial exercise to increase facial elasticity and flexibility versus over stretching your facial muscles. Now the third exercise that a lot of you would have started already experiencing, noticing, maybe even from a younger age. So start doing this exercise today if you have started noticing a downturn, a droopiness around your mouth. If you catch yourself making these expressions, I don't know, then you would have definitely started noticing these lines. The more your face gets used to this versus this, the more your facial expressions and your facial movements are downwards, that are dragging your face down, like even sitting down like this, you're pulling your skin down. When you don't work on developing your facial muscle strength, naturally your facial muscles will drag down. They will be attracted towards the gravity. So this next exercise will help you develop more strength in these muscles that are becoming weaker day by day. Because my goal is to take you from here to here, wrinkles of sadness be gone. Get ready with your index finger and your middle finger. Insert them on the sides of your mouth, inside. Again, like the previous ones, you're not going to pull your fingers out. Is an absolute no-no. I want you to use the muscles of your outer mouth area to contract inside. The fingers are just for that little bit of resistance. Do not overdo anything. Take your fingers. Notice I'm not doing this. It's not pull, it's only contract inward. The timer is on. Continue to do this exercise with me for one minute. So notice the amazingness of this exercise. It is not just working on the droopiness on the corners of your mouth, but the muscles that are in here, in your cheeks. So if you have heavy cheeks, the weight of these cheeks falls down here. And over a period of time, that weight will create heavier sagging jowl. So this will benefit you in this whole area, which is why, again, it's very important to focus and work really well on each exercise. The moment you do it wrong, the moment you overdo something or perform it with the wrong facial posture, you could actually damage not just one, but multiple facial areas. So face yoga definitely works, but when you do it the wrong way, it can have some adverse effects and it's my responsibility to keep you aware about the mistakes that you could be making so you don't make them. Some of you may notice some fatigue in your mouth, which is a good sign. But for those of you who did not really feel much, please don't overdo it. Still stick to this one minute. And like I said earlier, if you want to increase the intensity, try to increase the intensity in the contraction duration. 
don't go and do this exercise for 3 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I welcome all your questions in the comment section below because this is where I get ideas for my content. In future, I also post short stories, videos, posts on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook fan page. It's a good idea for you to follow me on these social media platforms as well. I'm Parmita Katkar and I'm a face yoga coach and an image coach. You can find me on my website which is parmitakatkar.com. For more information, make sure you check it out. I'm always looking forward to hearing from you so please let me know what your aging concerns are because if you don't tell me, who's going to tell me? I will see you next week with some more content that will help you empower your beauty and confidence. This is Parmita signing off. Now that you have more lifted smile, blush with me.